I'm Rob Johnson. Tonight, an alleged victim of Dennis Hastert's sexual abuse does his first television interview on the day the former House Speaker is released from a federal prison. Here's CBS 2's Jim Williams. On the day last year when Dennis Hastert was sentenced, one of his former students emotionally described in court how Hastert had abused him when he was a teenage member of Hastert's wrestling team. Tonight on CNN, Scott Cross explained why he kept the abuse a secret for so long. For 37 years, and I don't think I'm that different than anybody else, that you just hold that in. You don't tell anybody. Um, the your, wife, your wife didn't know? My wife didn't know. Uh, I have three other brothers. My parents are still around. I told nobody anything. But he was the Speaker of the House, uh, second in line, third in line. Um, it, it was unfathomable that this was actually true, and just so many people said there's no way this is true, and he gets these letters. I was shocked. Then abuse allegations against Hastert snowballed. After it was revealed, Hastert paid a lot of money to keep it quiet. This is probably, boy, one of the hardest things anybody could go, ever go through uh, for myself. Um, statistically, I mean, here's what's, I think, fascinating from a statistic perspective, as I've read up on a lot of this stuff. It takes the average person or the average person age 42 before they come forward. Tonight, Hastert is back in Illinois after spending 13 months in a Minnesota prison for breaking banking laws to conceal the hush money, not the sexual abuse itself. These sexual allegations were barred by that statute of limitations. What wasn't barred was the money laundering. It was like kind of like a slap on the wrist. He was uh, charged with a financial crime, not what he had actually done to myself and others. Tonight, Governor Rauner's office tells us he'll sign new legislation eliminating the statute of limitations for the sexual abuse of victims under the age of 18. As for Hastert's immediate future, our legal analyst Irv Miller says federal officials are likely to take Hastert's poor health into consideration in deciding whether he'll stay at a halfway house, a medical facility, or his home. Rob and Erica, Dennis Hastert is 75. Mm, that alleged victim who's now speaking out today, right. he seems to say that he's very integral in pushing for this new legislation here in Illinois and possibly other states. After keeping it quiet for a long yeah. time, after all, Hastert was so powerful in his own community. Right. Scott Cross's brother is a former politician, former leader of the um, Illinois House. But if this gets signed into law, it won't help people like that. It'll help future people. Who future. It's not right. retroactive. That's a good right. point. Okay. Right. Thanks, Jim.